lost in my mind Wanted to give up so many times But God was mine A consistent way maker Here's a great God covered me God bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 21. And we'll read verse number 17. And it says, He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, Feed my sheep. Amen. Uh, God has a word of encouragement today for those who have often failed. Amen. Uh, if you are an unqualified success and everything you do turns to gold and you've never failed before, then um, God's not speaking to you today. Um, but God wants to encourage those of us who have often failed. Uh, and God wants you to know, if, if you count yourself in that number, that he yet has great plans for you, and he yet has a desire to use you mightily in the kingdom of God. Peter was someone who often failed. Amen. Uh, he was a man of faith, yes, but he was a man who also uh, failed God from time to time. Jesus told him, he said, you know, before the cock crows tonight, you're going to deny me three times. Uh, Peter said, oh no, this will never happen. But we know how the story goes, amen. Peter did, in fact, deny Jesus three times. Um, Peter was also one who walked with Jesus, and uh, when the mob came to arrest Jesus, Peter, who spent all this time at the master's feet, yet whipped out a knife, amen, and cut off the servant's ear. And Jesus had to say, no, Peter, we don't roll that way, amen. Put that knife up. And Jesus healed the servant's ear. Uh, Peter failed Jesus on more than one occasion. And yet, as we see here, the love of Jesus was such towards Peter that he was interested in Peter being restored into a right relationship with himself. And so three times he asked Peter, do you love me? Once for each denial that Peter had offered on that fateful night. And with Peter being fully restored, Jesus told him, feed my sheep. And we know that Peter went on to do great things in the early church and in fact wrote two books of the Bible. So what is God saying unto us? That we need to look at Peter for some encouragement. Peter was someone who often failed God. He often didn't do what God would have him to do. And there were other times that he did do things that God would rather him not have done. And yet through it all, God was able to restore Peter and use him in spite of his failures. And it's the same thing for you. Yes, you have failed God a time or two. And yes, right now you perhaps don't feel that you're worth much. And even other people may be telling you that you're not worth much. But you are worth something to God. Jesus went to the cross for you. Amen. And Jesus wants you to be restored to a perfect place of fellowship with him so that the great plan that God has for your life can be brought to pass. So if you count yourself among those who have often failed. Know that you have company, amen. And yet we serve a great God who can use us in spite of our failures and do something spectacular. Let him do it through you today. God bless you. Until next time, be encouraged and know that Jesus is Lord and he loves you and his love never fails. You me